What's up guys? I'm out here on the new property just kind of cleaning up a little. You kind of notice that orange line that runs back around behind me. That's actually the area where the cabin will sit. So I'm, I'm basically just removing some of the brush, sticks, cutting down some small saplings and there's not really anything too entertaining about that and it, it takes a little while. But I do often get asked what kind of um, camera equipment and stuff that I use to shoot videos so I thought I would share that with you guys. You usually get to see it from the camera angle so I'm just going to kind of try to turn everything around and, and give you a rough idea of what I use to shoot video. It's all the camera equipment that I use will fit in this little military bag. Um, it's pretty tough. It has a little bit of padding and it's waterproof with the exception of the phone which of course I keep in my pocket. Pretty much the GoPro setup that I run. It's a Hero 8 Black. Um, has a light in the shoe mount on top that just in case it gets a little, start getting a little bit dark or a little bit dusky, I can illuminate something if I need to see it. Shoots okay in the dark. Um, I use this shotgun microphone on here. Just kind of more so to aim it directly at me when I'm talking. I really don't shoot a lot of takes except when I'm talking. Because I'm from the south and I have this southern drawl that's it's ridiculous. Sometimes I can't even understand myself. Um, so anyway, in a lot of my videos, that's why I don't do a whole bunch of talking. I'll just inlay some some nice music in there and and just kind of let the project I'm working on speak for itself. But it, anyway, like I said, it's a GoPro Hero 8 Black. It has the media mod, which is this casing around it, which is good for if you want to add some attachments or you're using it like on a tripod mount, which that's kind of what I use just as a stationary camera around like say the little little cabin build that I was doing or around this build that's what I'll be using <clears throat> it's not quite as mobile but all my camera stuff I like to be lightweight and um, compact and the GoPro will definitely do that and it, it shoots very good quality um, now the way it is of course it's not waterproof but you can take it out of this case it kind of slides out and then you can put it into something where you could use a, a waterproof scenario so small camera tripod here it's just kind of got the little octopus legs that wrap around anything I can put the GoPro on here or sometimes I put my phone on there if I if I want to set up something quick and just shoot it that way okay here's another one that I use um, it's more like a selfie stick really but it makes a good monopod to stabilize it on the ground. You see what I'm just holding in my hand. The camera's pretty unsteady. Um, but it'll, it'll also, on the end, it'll accept the phone or it'll accept the GoPro. And of course it stand, extends out pretty good ways, like 12 feet. I use it with the GoPro sometimes to get, get down underwater or use it in the rain. <clears throat> um, I use it when I'm hiking a lot just because it's so, so much easier to move around and, and carry with you and, and get some interesting different angles on yourself you can also use your phone as a monitor for the gopro if you want to make sure you're framed correctly um, since the screen's on the back of course the most fun camera to use is the dji mavic mini drone it's super lightweight folds up small enough to fit in your pocket um, it's great for a lot of different type of shots. You know, it's kind of a crane, it's a dolly, it's a helicopter, it's a boom. It's really whatever you need it to be. <clears throat> it's also great for scouting out, you know, kind of ahead of yourself. If you want to look at some terrain that might give you some difficulty or you're scouting out, kind of see if you're walking into any kind of predators or even if you're just using it to find game animals. It doesn't capture audio, which would kind of be pointless. All you would really pick up would be the rotor noise. The app does have some interesting features, which allow you to, you know, do some pre-programmed flight patterns and get some interesting shots that way, where you actually can be part of the scene and not really have to be flying the drone, you know, kind of behind the controls. I'll set up just a few of these shots and give you an idea of what they look like.
So there you go. There's a little look at what I use. The world of video equipment is getting smaller and lighter all the time. Um, you know, so it's easy to carry. I kind of look forward to what they come out with next, but nothing really beats a phone. You know, it's always on you. It's always handy. It's easy to take out and just point and shoot. Um, so shoot some of your own stuff. Share it with me. I'd love to see it. Now I got to get back to cleaning this stuff up. It's not going to clean itself. <laughs>